Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, I'm a bit tired, but I'm okay. The weather was pretty bad this night. We had freezing rain and it was so dangerous outside because it was so slippery. So let's jump in today's video. So we're going to transform this portrait of this girl into a neon picture. So to begin with, we're going to select her. You're going to see later on why. It's going to save us so much time. So let's click on the quick selection tool and on to select subject and then wait. Now Photoshop is done selecting the model. So let's go to select and save our selection for later. So let's name it girl for example and then press on OK. And now let's press on Ctrl and D and then recall it later. Now let's unlock this layer and now let's pick for example the rectangle tool. Let's make a rectangle. Maybe now it's out of frame. Let's move it a bit or whatever. I'm going to change it later. So we're going to remove the fill of the rectangle. Now let's change our line color or stroke, how they call it in Photoshop. And let's pick out yellow. There we go. And now let's pick out the line size. We're going to go for 20 pixels and then press on. Okay, now let's move it, oh, not this one, so let's lock again our layer so it's not moving around. There we go, if I'm pressing this one, then we should be able to move our square. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to recall our selection. You're going to see why, because doing that manually is going to take so much time and this method only requires a few clicks, so let's click on load selection we're going to pick out our selection we made in the beginning now let's press on ok and now we're going to pick out the rectangle marquee tool and then right click and then click on select inverse and here's the nice part if we would do it manually it would take so much time if we had a lot of details to paint out here it's going to be done automatically because we selected the subject. Now let's make a layer mask. Just click here and you see like magic everything that was on the front of the model has been hidden because a layer mask does not delete it just hides it so you can paint it back on if you want. Now we're going to add a hue and saturation layer. Let's click on it and now let's play a bit around here and then increase the saturation and now we're going to add the glow effect around this line so let's go back to layer and then go down to our rectangle then right click and then blending options now let's click on outer glow and then let's pick up our size and then the spread so here you can see that we will have to paint manually this off so it looks better so play a bit with the spread maybe with the opacity so that looks pretty nice so let's press on ok now we're going to do some cleanup so we're going to choose the brush and then our layer mask now black removes can see it removes now let's make it bigger and if you remove too much you're going to pick out white here press on the arrow and then white is going to be on front so let's make our size bigger and increase the hardness so that looks nice and now we can remove everything that's not desired so let's zoom and make our brush smaller by right clicking and there we go now if we had to do that all manually it would have taken so much time here you can see that we have our neon picture and if you want a bit more of that we can go back to our U and saturation layer double click on it there you go now we can increase the saturation so it's even popping more 
I hope you like this video. A subscription would be glowing, or we could say. So, if you found it helpful or you liked it, give it a like so I know you enjoy it and I'm gonna make more of those creative pictures in Photoshop. I hope to see you in the next one and take care of yourself.